In this video, I wanted to show you guys how to get to the, uh, how to do the Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation Lab. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go find the lab. So I'm going to click on Course Materials. I'm going to go to Content. This is in our Application of Newton's Laws um, unit. So I'm going to um, click on that, and then I'm going to click on uh, 1 through 3. And then I'm going to search for this sidebar until I find Newton's Laws of Universal Gravitation. Okay, here we go. Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation, lab handout. Okay, it's going to download here in Chrome, and then it's also going to show up in my downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And I'm going to close this window because I don't need it anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to click on um, FET. And I'm going to download. Now, um, let's see when I open it. Okay, cool. Um, it doesn't make me change the um, settings or anything. Okay, so um, it says just kind of familiarize yourself with the simulation. So, um, you know, we can change our mass here. Uh, we can change the mass of this guy over here. Um, and we can move them around and we're going to get a force um, depending on how we move them. Okay, so um, for the data in uh, trial one, um, we want to keep the distance between the masses at uh, 4 meters. So I'm going to put 4.0 here. And let's see, I'm going to put um, this guy as close as I can to 2. I'm going to put this guy as close as I can to 6. And so that'll be my 4 meters. Okay. And then it says vary the mass values. I've already got some values, so I'm just going to leave those. Um, 61 kilograms for the first one and 181 kilograms for the second one. Um, is very the different mass values okay and then um, I'm gonna have a force okay so I'm gonna have um, 0 0.0000 0 0.000 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay and then I can you know I can figure this out I can do 61 times 181 I'm just going to get a huge number, and that's okay. And then um, you can calculate that later. Okay, then it says for trial 2, keep the mass of object 1 at 50 and the mass of object 2 at 50. So I'm going to do that, and then I can just... Um, and just click down like that. Click down like this. This is going to take longer because it's a larger mass. Okay, so now I've got them both at 50. And then... Um, Okay, so this is, um, table one is what they call trial one. So you'll just do, um, you'll keep your distance all the time at four. And then you'll just change the mass values. So you can put whatever you want here. And then um, it'll give you your force. It'll get, um, you'll have to calculate the mass and then you'll have to, um, you'll work on this. Okay, for what they call table two, that's what they're calling trial two up there. Okay, so we're calling our first mass of 50 kilograms. 
your second mass is 50 kilograms. Um, it says vary the distance. So, you know, you can move this guy over here. Now I've got a five meter distance instead of four. It's going to show me my force up here. So I'm going to put 0 0.000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 006, 473. And then we'll calculate the gravitational constant. Okay, because you can use this formula. You've got your D, you've got your M1, your M2, and your F. So you can use this formula to calculate your gravitational constant. Okay, then you'll type in your average value of G, whatever you found, um, the published value of G. Okay, so you can look that up. It's in the um, PowerPoint. It's in the presentation. Um, it's all over the place. Um, the units of G, and then the source you got for your the source of your published value of G and the units of G. So if you got it in the course homepage, you can just write course homepage. And then you can write your um, value of G. How does your value of G compare to the published value? You'll make um, three graphs. Okay, so you'll have the mass of object one times the mass of object two on the x axis and force on the y axis for trial one. Okay, and then you'll have um, the distance between the masses on the x axis and the force on the y axis for trial two. And then you'll have the distance between the masses squared on the x-axis and the force on the y-axis also for trial two. So this is telling you exactly what you need on your x-axis and exactly what you need on your y-axis. And then you just answer these questions. Um, and that's all you do.